Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, we are going to see how to use Rectangular Select and Ellipse Select tool in Photopea. So let's get started. So this is the Rectangular Select tool and we press this icon, we can see different selection tool. These are the different selection tools and this one you can see is the Ellipse Select tool. So this one is Rectangular Select tool and this one is Ellipse Select tool and shortcut for both tools is M. So let's see how this works. The selection tool is basically used to select pixels from the layers. So there are many different select tools: rectangle select, ellipse select, a lasso select, a polygonal select, a magnetic lasso select, etc. And also we have magic one, quick selection, and object selection as well. We can also use pen tool as our selection tool. Now let's see how the rectangle selection tool works. In the name itself, we can see it is a rectangle selection. So you can draw the rectangular shape over the image. So we can see it is drawn the rectangular shape. The pixel inside this rectangular box is selected now and you can duplicate it by Ctrl plus J to duplicate. And you can see these pixels got selected. Using this selection tool, we can remove background as well. This rectangular selection tool is used to draw rectangle selection over our images. And using ellipse select tool, we can draw elliptical selection like this to maintain aspect ratio you need to press shift while doing the selection likewise same to rectangle select tool if we press shift while doing the selection it will create a square selection next let's see the tools option for rectangle select tool and elliptical select tool these are the selection modes this one is replace unite subtract and intersect so these options will be available for all selection tools so i'm gonna do it in a separate video let's go to feather so this feather option will give feather to our selection let's see i'm gonna select using rectangular select tool and i'm gonna and i'm gonna duplicate the selection now you can see the edge is sharp, sharp. If we add feather, I'm going to add feather to 50 pixels. Then I'm, I'm going to add a rectangular selection. You can see it is uh, become rounded rectangle and I'm going to duplicate it. Control plus J is the shortcut to duplicate. You can see it is added the feather so this is the feather option it will add feather to our selection so that it will uh, give smooth edges next one is also refine edge i'm gonna do it in different video next you can see this free fixed ratio fixed size etc so free means you can uh, freely move this selection i can uh, go with any ratio any size etc i'm gonna make the feather zero pixel Fixed ratio means right now width is 1, height is 1. So you can see it, you can only create square selection. If I change to width 2, you can see it is always maintained the width 2 and height 1 ratio. This is a fixed ratio. Next one is a fixed size. Right now it is in 100 by 100 pixels. You can see. You can't create bigger selection or smaller selection. The width and height 100 pixel selection will be created. Next one is origin ratio. Origin ratio means right now our uh, image is uh, 1280 by 720 pixel, 16 is to 9 ratio. So it will maintain that ratio. You can see also over here. So this is a fixed ratio. So that is the original ratio. Next, you can see different ratios. One is to one. So you can see that is the uh, square ratio. Four is to three. Next one is three is to two. And 16 is to nine. Which is same as this uh, original ratio. 
you can see the same option goes for ellipse select tool as well so that's it this is how we can use rectangle select and ellipse select tool basically the selection tool is used to select pixels and this rectangular select tool is used to select pixels in rectangular manner and ellipse select tool is used to select in elliptical manner so that's it this is how we can use rectangle select tool and ellipse select tool so thanks for watching if you like this video give thumbs up subscribe this channel for more future tutorials also press the bell icon so that you can get instant notification when i upload a video thanks for watching and bye